In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful tablet case. So, for this, we are going to use this yarn, which is cotton. I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, scissors, and you want to have some cute buttons to um, close it. Uh, this yarn comes in different colors. They are very cute. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can go ahead and choose your favorite. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we are ready to get started. Uh, my iPad measurements are five. 0.5 inches by 7 inches. So for this um, tablet, <laughs> I'm gonna start making 20 single crochet with my 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, we're gonna start by making a slip knot. So I'm gonna grab my yarn like this. I'm gonna go around my finger like that. I'm going to hold the yarn like this. This one goes on top of the first one and this one goes all the way down my finger like this. And then I'm just going to put my hook right there and tie this. Not too much. We don't want this too tight because it will, it will be too hard to single crochet. So to single crochet we're going to yarn over starting from the back to the front and you're going to pull that through the loop we have right there. We do this again one more time, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. If you are having a hard time doing this, it's probably because your fingers are too far away. If I yarn over and I'm holding here, pull through, it's hard. I can do it, but the ideal is that you have your fingers right here. It can be these two or you can hold it like this, like that. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. When you're getting too far, move your fingers, yarn over and keep doing this to have your chain. Okay, yarn over, pull through. So we're going to make 20 chains. So every chain looks like a V. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Let's make 10 more. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 single crochet. If your tablet is a different size, you can put your chain like this and it has to be exactly the size of your tablet. Then we're going to make an extra chain so we can go up to our second row, which is going to be this one. And we need to start on the second chain from our hook because this was an extra that is not going to count as a stitch. So we are going to make single crochet single crochet we're just going to insert our hook in that in the middle of the V. The yarn should be on top of our hook. We're just going to pull that. We're going to have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through. You see you're going to be moving your hook to get that yarn through. So you insert your hook, yarn on top, pull through. Here, if I leave it here, my hook, my stitches are going to be too tight. So try to move it here. 
so when I do this I get a little more yarn in here so my, my loops are looser which is good and then you yarn over and pull through so you, if you see if you have trouble seeing um, where uh, chain is the one that is next the one that you've just worked in it's kind of bigger than the next one and the previous can you see that so this is our next one so insert hook yarn on top pull through make it looser yarn over and pull through and let's do that until we get to the end of the row Okay, so here, this is my last chain. This is my slip knot. In my last chain, I am going to make three single crochet. So I make one, I make another one, you can tie your slip knot again, and the third one I'm gonna put it here so if you can see these three single crochet are gonna make like a round edge because now we are going to work back on the other side of the chain which is here to make the bottom of our table ca table case <laughs> sorry okay so now we did three in here our next chain is here so we already have another chain I mean another single crochet on the other side so we are going here and we should have 19 um, single crochets going our way back that's two three four And this is the 19, which is also the 20th. I mean, this was 15, but on the 15 with the 3, so we have 14, and then on the 15 we have 3, and then if we, sorry, we did 19, and on the 20th we did 3 single crochets, so we go back 19. Uh, but it's the first one, right? So we're going to make this last single crochet, but we already have one. But on the edge, we need to have three, so we need to make another single crochet. So that way we have three on the corners and one single crochet 
in each of the chain per side, like that. So after this, um, this is done, we're going to start uh, making our pat pattern, which is going to be, this is our first single crochet, we're going to make another single crochet there. So just insert your hook, pull through, and then here we are going to chain one, and we are going to skip the next stitch. So here's where we made our first single crochet. We skip this one and we go here to make another single crochet, chain one, skip this one, and go in here, single crochet, chain one, skip this one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, and we're going to keep doing this until we get to the corner. So I'm here ready to go on the three single crochets I have on the corner. This is one, this is two, this is three. And we are going to work this pattern on each one. So in these three single crochets, we are not going to skip a stitch. So I chain one here, I'm sorry, I made a single crochet, I chain one, and then in here I single crochet, chain one, I don't skip, I go into here, insert my hook, single crochet, chain one, I don't skip, insert my hook, single crochet, chain one, and now I keep doing my pattern. So here I do skip one and I go here, single crochet, so that way we are able to go around the corner like that. So let's keep doing that. So I single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, chain one, skip one. Okay, here I am ready to go on the two left single crochets that I have because I already started my pattern on the first one and I did a single crochet, chain one, and I went. So I just have two to work on. So here I chain one and in these two I single crochet chain one, I don't skip, I go to the next one, single crochet, chain one, and I go here, just normal. Single crochet, chain one, and starting here, that's, that's the end of our increasing row. From now on, we're just going to keep doing that around. Um, we are not going to skip I mean, skip anything um, on the corner, so we're just going to continue the pattern, chain one, skip one, chain one, skip one, until we reach the desired height. So, the only thing that we need to uh, be careful is to make a single crochet 
and on top a single crochet. And the space where we have a chain has to be a chain. So here I have a single crochet, I already have a single crochet. This is a chain. So I already have my chain here, so I skip the chain. I have the chain, I skip the chain, and I go into the next single crochet. So you just need to be careful to make it fine the first time because after that you can keep going like I chain one, I skip one, which is the chain, and I single crochet on the single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, So, uh, single crochet, chain one, skip So when we get to the corner, we don't do anything now. So we just regular. We did a single crochet, chain one that goes into the chain one, single crochet, chain one that goes into the chain one, single crochet. So we are not increasing or anything other than the first two rows. So I chain one, this is my chain one, and keep going. And that's everything that's all so keep working like this um, and I'll get back to you uh, when we have some oh I think I didn't chain one here I did <laughs> so because I'm talking so um, after a while a while you'll get the hang of it and you're gonna go um, faster so single crochet, chain one, skip one, that's all we're doing. And we're getting this beautiful pattern. I think it looks pretty cool. So remember that in the corners we're not increasing anything anymore. So just like that. Um, another thing that I can tell you is that um, chain one space yes is that we are always working on the outside so I'm working like this this is um, don't because you could be doing this and working on the inside we are working on the outside so try to be aware that you are actually working in the outside. And that's it. Just keep going. Okay, so I've been uh, working my rows and I am about to finish the first ball so I wanted to show you how to add a new ball of yarn so you're gonna grab your new yarn and I single crochet chain one so I am doing my single crochet and I insert my hook, pull through, and when I have two loops on my hook, I'm going to loop the new yarn on my hook and pull through. That's my single crochet, chain one, and I'm going to keep going. I am going to try to work around these two 
while I'm doing my single crochets so we don't have to weave these ends at the end. If it's too hard, you can weave this end at the end. <laughs> so uh, single crochet, crochet, chain one, then we keep working like that. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, You will do this just a few times to secure the yarn and keep working the way you were doing it. Okay, so, so far it's about enough. So starting for our first row, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is my 28th row. So for me, that's enough, and I am going to, and I want this to be the back, so what I'm going to do is, um, so single crochet, chain one, um, single crochet, chain one, to find the middle or the center, and I think it's about there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to chain a few. So I already chained one, so I am going to chain a little bit more, uh, a little bit more. So what is going to happen with this is that we are going to attach this one here and at the front we're going to put our button and this will go there in our button. So I think still too, um, still short. I'm going to chain a few more. So if it were like this, I think a few more. Or I don't know about five. So if it were here, yes, I think it's this is good. So I end up chaining um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now we have to make uh, that this last chain matches another chain. So for example, I single crochet here, chain one, so here will be a single crochet, chain one, so here I will have to make another single crochet and keep with your pattern. So single crochet, chain one, and 
let's finish. This will be our last row. So we want to do is um, to get to the corner, like right here, around there. Because if we make another row here, this is just going to get higher and it won't work for our, um, for our button. Or if you do want to make another row, will that be okay? In my case, I am just going to finish here. So I did my last single crochet. I am going to pull the yarn like that. I'm going to cut the yarn. I will pull the yarn like that. I will thread it with my darning needle. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip one. This is where I finished. So I'm actually working on there, on that skip one chain that we were working, that we were not working on. You will go under there and then go back to where the yarn is coming out of, like this so you won't even see it. Then you can just weave in this end. Like here and there. You can go back like that. That is enough. So I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to cut this one because I worked around it. And now we are just ready to put our button. Okay, so for our button, we just want to cut a little piece long enough so we can um, thread it. And the darning needle that we're using, obviously it has to be, um, it has to fit and we're gonna try to thread this one is kind of tiny. Let's see if we can do that. So just be able when you buy your button that you are actually going to be able to thread your needle. Okay. So I want my button to be here, around here. There. So I am going to insert my yarn and my needle like that and I am just going to um, oh I went um, through there we go okay so I'm going to make uh, like a cross, trying to insert my needle in different places because I won't be able to put yarn again on these holes. So, um, so just to be sure, we are holding it nice and tight, like this. And with that, I am just going to make, to tie a knot here. That is about enough. 
and I'm gonna weave these ends. I can do that with my bigger darning needle now. So just a little. We already have a knot, but you know, just not to cut the yarn right there after our knot and try to secure it. Like that. And let's do the same with this one. So cute. So then we're going to put our iPad like that and we're just going to hold it with our button and there we are. <laughs> 